Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is a pick a card reading as you can see. Uh, you might be drawn to a pile instantly, you might want to pause the video and take your time or you might be drawn to more than one pile at a time. I will put timestamps in the box below. This is a pick a card for Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn. But obviously there's other, there'll be three other sets of videos going up if you want to look at your moon or rising sign. This here is the Crystal Angels by Doreen Vir Virtue. This is Archangel Animal Oracle Cards by Diane Cooper. And this is the Sacred Traveller by Denise Lynn. So we'll remove these from the table and we'll do the reading for the people who wanted the Sacred Traveller's deck. Rejuvenating Rain. Clear the past and heal the present. And this is about washing away all your troubles, all your regrets, all past experiences and letting them go here. You're going to feel rejuvenated, healed. Uh, and it'll bring new things into your life. Now I'm just going to put this to the end, set aside for the end here. Lapis Lazuli, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Lapis Lazuli, it's life-changing empathy or experience. It's time for big and blessed change for you and God is supporting you each step of the way. So we're going to let the past go here, past regrets grow, it's time for change. So we're releasing everything, clearing out the past. There's two cards here about past, releasing the past and healing the present. So, you know, you could be sorting out issues you have here, uh, mending things, finding solutions to problems or relationships. Kangaroo, Archangels, Rockwell, Gersisa, and Sandeldorf, the kangaroo. Be a force for good, absolutely. Do the right thing here, do what's best. Do it, you know, come from your true authentic self. So let's see, this is empathy. So it could be that you might have to show a bit of compassion for other people here as well in some area of your life. Um, even if it's people that have done you wrong, it's about healing things, clearing the past and healing from it. So you might be showing some compassion here in the way that you're dealing with things, accepting that things are the way they are. And these people, you know, are doing the best they can with the cards they've been dealt in that sense. It can be about being compassionate. There you go. There's your tower card. Beautiful Empress card. Scorpio energy. Now you could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio in their chart. The Eight of Wands, overall central energy here is the Two of Wands, and that's what Tower Moments are about, choices. The Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Moon card, and the Three of Cups. Now this here is about transformation and change. There's been a Tower Moment here. Now you've been through a Tower Moment, you're going through one. This is all about getting rid of things that are unstable, that you couldn't escape from. The universe has stepped in and changed things. So it can feel very upsetting. It feel like the rug's being pulled from under your feet. Now this is, you're, you're going to gain empathy from this. You're going to, you will start to understand. That's what I'm trying to say, what this experience is about. You will, when I say empathy, you might have to show consideration or compassion towards someone else in this situation, most definitely. You might have to be a bit of the bigger person here. But this, you have to get over the tower moment. But it's all about bringing change in. So it's about you doing the right thing here, being the force for good. It's life-changing empathy or experience. So, you know, if it's a situation here where you're learning something, you might have to try and walk in someone else's shoes a bit as well after what you've been through. Um, but this is definitely about clearing stuff out, clearing things that have trapped you, bringing in change out with the old and in with the new. Now, this tower moment is anything that you consider a tower moment to be. It'll be different for everybody, but it's bringing in change. And the whole point of this is to bring in, start building harmony, being able to create new things, rebirth and rejuvenation. This can also be pregnancy. Somebody might fall pregnant here. If you don't want to be pregnant, be careful. Um, you might have had trouble in the past with pregnancies, births. It's about letting the past go, healing from it, being in the present and going forward, using the experiences you've had and going forward to create brand new things, giving you new hope. This is new hope as well. Rebirth. 
Now, the overall central energy is the Two of Wands, and this is getting you onto a path of growth, new things, a win-win situation. You can start to think about things that you want to take up. Um, going down a brand new path, whatever this may be for you. You might want to start study courses, you might want to get pregnant again, try pregnancy, start a family, whatever you're passionate about. But it's going to enable you to make the choices that are needed here. Now, it can be a bit scary. You can, you know, you might not have seen this tower moment coming. You might be a bit in the dark about it. Listen to your intuition here. This tower moment is releasing you. And after the tower moment comes the star card of heal and rejuvenation. So don't be frightened to embark on a new path, start new things, go forward, because things will be revealed to you as you go along life's path. Things will become clearer, but it's about understanding that you need to go forward now. You need to let the past go and go forward, and spirit will guide you, and things will become clearer. You will gain enlightenment. Listen to your intuition, connect in with spirit, and you'll start to see the path. It will start. Things will start to open up for you. Opportunities will start to come forward. Now, good news could come in. This is, could be you moving on as well. You could be going to new jobs, new places to live. You might need a holiday as well to recover, to heal from the tower moment. It could be texts or emails coming forward as well. But new things are opening up. Once the tower moment happens, the energies around you clear and good news comes in. People show up. Opportunities show up. And through time, you will start to see the way forward. The tower moment has changed the energies. You'll move forward. This can be a very fast-moving energy. Move forward very, very quickly to change, to change. And this here will bring beautiful balance into your life. Harmony, getting into more balanced situations. You're enjoying your work environment. You're enjoying your relationships. You're balancing out your finances. You're enjoying the people you're around. Nobody's bleeding you dry here. You're making good, solid decisions for yourself. You're passionate about these decisions. You're getting pride in the decisions you're making. And you're creating balance and harmony. And this is harmony. So this tower moment, I always say, is a blessing in disguise. You're going to learn something here. You're learning a lot about what's for you here. And you're learning how to balance things out. A good work-life balance, good financial balance, relationships where you're not doing all the work. Both people are working together. It's beautiful harmony. And the universe rewards you for this energy you're in. It rewards you for this. This is success. You're successful. You're back in the driving seat. You're doing the right thing. You're making good strategic decisions. You're disciplined. You're structured. You're creating empires. It's a win-win situation here. Now, this can also be a new relationship coming in. It's a power couple. The divine masculine and divine feminine coming together. It could be romantic. Or it could be a good partnership or a good friendship or a good teacher-tutor relationship. But this is also someone here who has a lot of knowledge that could help you. So new jobs, new tutors, somebody who could give you advice. Or this could be you just taking control again, starting to have the confidence to go forward after not seeing the way forward, making these decisions and being a force for good because that's where your happiness will lie. You want to celebrate things. If it's a divine masculine and feminine coming together, it could be that you're going out to celebrate. It could be your first date. It could be a business meal. It could also be there's a tower moment because there's somebody interfered in the balance of your life. So it could be something to do with your soul tribe, your family, your work colleagues within that environment. They've interfered with something. But this is about you being able to get back on, making the changes necessary and decisions necessary choices to get back onto an even keel. So there's great things ahead here you could be celebrating most definitely. Focus. Focus. You're in need of clear direction. Decide what you want in life. And this is you making the choices here. Clear out the past. Heal the present. Come into the present. Understand tower moments are to move you forward. You've been stuck. So stuck. And this is an opportunity here for you to get back in the driving seat. Okay, I hope this helps. If it does, please like, share and subscribe. We will do now the Crystal Angels pack. This is for people who chose that. Angelite. Angelite. I think I pronounced that correctly. 
spiritual and religious community, join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. Now, this is somebody with the same traditional values as you. It could be somebody who have the same ethics and morals with you, somebody who has the same religious beliefs as you. But your traditional values here, it's about being around your soul tribe type of energy. People who get you and understand you is highly important. Parrot, Archangel Behokpe. Archangel Behokpe, I hope that's correct. Listen intently to understand. So listen intently to your, it could be listening to your intuition. It could be listening to tutors. It could be listening to your um, partner. It could be listening to a friend. I'm going to put this to the side for later. So you have to listen intently to understand something. It might be conversations you're needing to have here to get a better understanding of what you're going through. So you could get advice from people who see life through your eyes as well. Wandering path. Enjoy the journey. This is about just going with the flow. Going on your new path. There's things out there that you could be doing. Things you could be enjoying. Definitely. Enjoy the journey towards your goals. Enjoy your friendships. You know, enjoy getting to understand things, gaining knowledge, being at one with yourself. It's a beautiful reading. The Knight of Swords. The Strength card, you could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. The Lovers, this could be Gemini energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with Gemini in their chart. Page of Cups, beautiful. Beautiful balance. This is about enjoying life, definitely. The overall central energy is the Two of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the King of Wands, whoops, it is it, and the Justice card. Now, what's happening here is there's karmic justice at play. The universe is rewarding you for being aware of your spiritual journey, being aware that if you're around the right people and you're trying to understand people and your life's journey, that you're going to enjoy things. It's how to enjoy life. You're learning how to enjoy life here. You're understanding your spiritual path here and the universe is going to reward you for it. This is karmic justice at play here. Um, you've got the sense to be around people that understand you and not, you know, don't upset you. You're staying away from antagonistic people and, and uh, environments here. You're listening to your intuition. You've got time for people here. You're listening to them. You're learning from people. Your heart's open here. Uh, this is about your happiness, your heartfelt happiness. You've thought about this and you're understanding how to bring beautiful balance into your life. Now, this could be you attracting a good friend, a good support network. It could be attracting a new lover, a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy here. But this is definitely about you coming into balance. You're understanding how to create this beautiful harmony in your life and how to enjoy life's journey. And you're being strong and courageous in the decisions you're making. Now, it could be that you're enjoying, you're going to go into a relationship and you're, you're understanding your partner here. This could be a romantic relationship. This is somebody who's definitely on the same page as you. You understand that you need to be with somebody here who's like-minded, who's on the same wavelength as you, who maybe has the same religious beliefs, ethics or morals as you. I'm not just saying uh, this is romantic, but this can be choosing to be around these type of people because this doesn't mean lovers, just mean lovers. It can mean choices. So choosing to be around the right people here, learning from your mistakes, having the confidence to make the right choices, Understanding the challenges you've been through that's made you strong and give you the confidence to choose your right path. It's beautiful. You've understood here. You've become enlightened. You're listening. You're understanding the people. You know that if you're around the right type of people, you can move forward. People understand you. You've got good communication. Um, listening to them, you can get good advice from them. A Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy, if this is a person. But you're going to move towards your happiness quite quickly because you've got an understanding of the beauty of the spiritual journey here. Definitely, you're moving forward. and The right people are coming in. You're getting, you know, they're, the people that you're communicating with, they're, they're enlightening you, you're enjoying their company. It's all that type of energy around you. This is being passionate about what you're investing in. And this is you. I think you're a mature energy. I really do. I think you've thought about your happiness here. You know that you've got to invest in things, in people and environments that you enjoy, that you're passionate about. You've learned that. 
and you're prepared here to do whatever it takes. He's, you could even be starting up your own business. You're not frightened to start up on your own. You're not frightened to start new ventures because you understand that if you're around the right people, that's where growth lies. As long as you're passionate about what you're putting your energies into, you will be successful, most definitely. Uh, he's an entrepreneur type energy. He's confident about where he's going. He knows what he wants in his life. He's learned, he's mature, he's a king. He knows where his skill set lies. He knows himself inside out. And I feel this is you. And you are ready now. You've got what it takes. You're confident. You're not in a cocky way, just confident and comfortable with yourself and who you are and, and what you want to achieve. And you're enthusiastic about going forward in life. And you're not frightened to take up new experiences that you're drawn towards. And this enables you to plan, make long-term plans for your future and invest in people's situations, environments that you enjoy. So you're somebody that's not just standing on the shore here. You're, you're prepared to get in the boat if needed. You know, you've got what it takes here. You're prepared to go towards your happiness. Um, and it's going to, you know, you're going to come into emotional balance, beautiful things ahead, because this can be you coming into alignment with your higher self, because you're doing the right thing. You're enjoying everything you're investing in. You're enjoying your relationships, people and environments, you know. Uh, and there's a lot of contentment here, a lot of contentment for you ahead. There's only more to come. Definitely only more contentment to come. You've learned the beauty of this. You've got your head around it. You've learned from past challenges, though. It's never an easy journey. There's always been challenges, but you are somebody here who's either learning from their experiences or prepared to learn from their experiences and go down that inspired path. And that's where the beauty of this lies. You will be rewarded. Karmic justice will, will step in. Definitely. You will, the universe will reward you. This justice card is a fair outcome for everybody. This is fairness. So what you put into something, you will get out of it. Most definitely. Friends. See? Friends. Spend more time with your friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you and listen intently and understand. This is, it could be friends, it could be family, it could be soul tribe, work colleagues, any environment. It's about you understanding the blessings that come from being around the right people and in the right environments. Beautiful energy. So I hope that helps. Please like, share and subscribe if it does. And we will do the people that were drawn to the Archangel Michael card. Rhinoceros. Now, Archangel Sandaldorf and Roquiel. Be strong and courageous. This is the Rhinoceros. Be strong and courageous. I'll put this to the side for later. We have got Azurite. Deep emotional healing. Healing from emotional situations. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences. And you're willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. So this is definitely letting the past go. You're ready to pamper yourself, be good to yourself. You've understand what you've been through, uh, your experiences, you're healing from them, and you're looking after yourself now. So you're healing. Pamper yourself, definitely. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So this is about being strong and courageous and going over that bridge. You're healing emotionally. You're coming out of that emotional uh, distress place. It's time to heal, connecting, mending and releasing. So things are being mended. You're connecting in with your heart chakra again. You're ready to go forward. You're strong and courageous. You're coming out the other end of upsets here. The Hierophant. The Four of Cups. The Magician. The Ace of Swords. Ten of Wands, there's your ending, overall central energy. The Page of Wands. The Ten of Cups, another ten, beautiful. The King of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles. Now, you're healing from challenges. Your challenges are over. These, You feel like you've been through a heck of a time here. You feel as if you've had the whole weight of the world on your shoulders, but that cycle's over. That was all designed so you could learn karmic lessons. So you've learned about yourself. When we're learning what's from what's not, I'll say that again. When we're learning what's not for us, we're learning what is. And these are lessons you can carry through your life now as you go along life's path. But this is over. You're healing from all these things. You've got the clarity you need now. You're feeling strong. You've understood your lessons. 
um, you're ready to communicate, you're to say to the world, the universe, you know, I can see what I've been through and I'm putting it behind me now and I'm ready. I can see clearly the path I want to go down. And you're being drawn down a certain path here, intuitively down a path. So the answers have come in, or the answers will come in from healing. And you'll gain the clarity you need. Your intuition will serve you well here. So listen to your intuition. But this has been strong and courageous now. Brand new beginnings and clarity through emotional healing from past challenges. And it's time for goal setting. It's time to start on that new path. You've been inspired down a new path. And what Spirit's saying now, because you're healing and you've, remend you've mended your past and you've sorted out your issues, you've got the Midas touch. So whatever you desire to do, the universe is going to support you. As above, so below. You've got everything you need now to go forward. If you've been bored now, it's time for new, new beginnings. There's blessings going to show up. So please look at every blessing that comes your way. Don't miss out on anything. Treat everything as it's a blessing. Look at things. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth because this is spirit bringing you people or situations. You might not understand them. You might need to look at them more fully. You might have to take time to decide what, whether you want that's for you or not. But trust that every person that comes onto your path or every situation or opportunity you have is not there by accident. The universe is bringing it to you. So look at everything because there may be more to these people or situations than you realise. So it's time to set goals now. Don't sit in your laurels. Set these goals. It's time to be strong. You've been on a spiritual journey of learning. Your true traditional values will serve you well here. It can also be about new jobs and new, this is the big conglomerates, new industries. You might want to go towards that. But this is about being your true authentic self. Um, your traditional values will serve you well. You've gained enough knowledge spiritually now through all these challenges you've been through. And if you listen to your intuition, you understand now what you've learned. Be your true authentic self and things will work out. So don't be strong, courageous and go forward. The reason we get, the way we gain strength is we reflect on the challenges we've been through and we've survived them. So that gives us the confidence to keep going. Most definitely keep going. What happens is our new goals, we can work with people. So this is a suggestion here that you work with one person or more to lay solid foundations for your future. So you could be joining a new team, a new partnership. You could be getting advice if it's financial advice, legal advice, but you're working with someone. Uh, to bring, you know, you've got the clarity you need. You know what path you need to go down now. So you're working with one person or more here to lay solid foundations for your future. And your skills will be recognised here. So if this is a new job or a new team that you're joining, your skills will be recognised and you will be rewarded for them. And it's about working with one person or more to lay solid foundations for your future. And these will stand the test of time. There's solid foundations that will stand the test of time. And if you put the hard work in, um, you will be rewarded and you will be recognised for your efforts. You've got a good skill set here. You've got what it takes to achieve whatever it is you're trying to achieve because you've done the healing. You've got the clarity now. You understand these lessons that you've been through and you can use them. And this is someone here who creates, who makes long-term commitments to things. It's a long-term investment you're making. Your goals don't, they're not achieved overnight here so it's going to take time and hard work you're going to put the work in you're going to make the effort you're going to work with people here whoever's needed whatever it takes here to like to make or to create i beg your pardon long-term stability for yourself now this could be you becoming a boss type figure it could be you becoming very established financially secure here he's somebody who puts the work in to the right people, environments and situations, and he can sit back and he can enjoy the fruits of his labour. And I'm saying he is not a gender specific reading. I'm talking about the energies on the cards. So long term commitments we're making to goals. We understand that they don't, they're not going to happen overnight here. It's going to take work. We're prepared here to look at any situation for what it is. And if you look below the surface, there could be more to the opportunities than we give themselves, than we're giving them credit for. Um, so be prepared to put the work in here, look at every opportunity, be passionate about what you're investing in, go for it. Because if you do this and you commit to it, there's a lot of stability going to come into your life and a lot of financial security for doing that. And I did say here, these are two cards of hard work being recognised here. And this is hard work being rewarded. So there's lots of blessings here for you. 
your family or your soul tribe. But tens are the end of cycles. So you've had to go through the challenges here to get these blessings. But in the end, it's going to be worth it. There's, it's like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Wait. Wait. Take time to think on the matter at hand and don't be tempted to rush. And I did say here, consider things. Take time to consider your situation and choose your blessings carefully. Okay, there's more to these things than you realise there could be. I hope this helps. If it does, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.